Hello, do you want to learn how to capture photos continuously in Filmora X just like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Hey, welcome to VC Creator Secret Tutorials. Before we get started, if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I publish new tutorials every week. For more unique awesome videos like this, check the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, in order to pull this off, we need two things. And one, we need a video. And second, we need a sound effect. A camera snap sound effect. Which you don't have to worry about that. If you're using Filmora X, you can find one in the library, in the audio library under sound effects. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's drag our video down to the timeline. And let me just play it for you and see what we have. So this is a video for this tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is to go through the video and find a spot that we can take a snapshot. Just find a suitable place that we can take our first snapshot. So probably somewhere here. Let's take a snapshot. And split it right there. Don't move the playhead, split it right there. Now let's go through it and take another snapshot. We can take as many snapshots as we want. Just be going through it and find the suitable place. Then you click on that icon right there and take a snapshot. And let's take as many snapshots as we can. We can take 9, 10, or 12, depending on how many you want. So just be moving the playhead forward. When you find a suitable place, you'll click on that icon and take a snapshot. And as you can see, we have all our snapshot in the media right there. So keep moving it forward or playing it and be taking and be clicking on that icon to take a snapshot. So do it, take a snapshot, take as many as you can. Take as many as you can, but when it gets to the last one, don't move the playhead. When you take the snapshot, you split it right there. So this is our last snapshot. So let's split it right here. Now we have three, we have split it into three parts. Now click on the middle one. We're gonna use that as our background. So go to effects. We're gonna apply effects on this. Go to effect and search for square blow. Drag and drop it on the video on the middle video double click on it and go to video on the video you have the effect right there now let's adjust it let's adjust the blow make sure it's blow like this so this is what we're going to use for our own background so let's let's go and drag then our sound our camera sound here is it just like i said it's right there where you can just go and drag it down so let's align it let's cover the middle the background let's make sure the sounds cover the background and all you need to do is to duplicate it so now that we have the sound you can just the next thing we need to do is to drag down our first snapshot remember just follow it the way they are numbered one two three like that so drag down the first one and expand it to cover the the part that we are using as background then move the playhead to the next beat sound remember the next beat sound and drag then our second image you move to the next big sound and drag then the next image make sure it's the next beat sound and do the same to all the images make sure you align it to the sound to the camera sound all 
right when you're done now we have all our images aligned with the sound beats with the off beats of the camera snap sound so let's go back to the first image and double click on it and go to effect and search for border and drag and drop it on the on the image now double click on it and go on that video you see border there and change the scale to 4 and click ok now right click on it and copy effects then you highlight all the other images and paste effects and it will apply to all the other images so you don't have to go back and do it one after the other now we have all our images we have the border applied to all our images so it's time for animation now come back to the first image and make sure your playhead is at the beginning then add a keyframe that is to go back to animation to customize add a keyframe then move it forward five frame you can move it forward five frame and in order to do that you can you can press your your arrow your right arrow key on your keyboard five times and it will move it five times or you can just you can move you can drag and move your playhead five frames and add another keyframe add another keyframe and change the scale to 60 the rotation to 5 let's go to our second image move the playhead to the beginning of the image double click on it add a keyframe then move the playhead forward 5 frame and change the scale to 60 and rotation to minus 5 and this is what we have then move the playhead to the third image and add a keyframe then move it forward 5 frames and change the scale to 60 this time around no rotation we're not gonna add rotation in this third one so let's move to the fourth image double click on it add a keyframe from the beginning move it forward five frames then change the scale to 60 and move to the next one and apply the same thing but this time around change the rotation to minus 10 then the next one you change it to you leave it as zero like that you continue like that depending on how many images you have so just follow the same process and do it one after the other i'll i'll put the, the process on the screen for you to follow so just take your time and do it and apply it to all the images all right we're almost done with our keyframe we're not done yet so let's pre-render it and play and preview it let's preview it this is what we have so the next thing we need to do take the playhead to the end of the images to the end of the images and move it forward five frames then expand the last image to cover the five frames then move the playhead forward to align with the other images then we're gonna add some keyframe here add the keyframe there then move the playhead to the beginning of the image and restore it so we will have something like this now let's go back to do to our background and move it to align with the image then expand the background move the remaining part of the video and expand the background to cover the expansion of five frame we did earlier so i think we're almost done so we're done with our animation go to transition and drag and drop flash effects in between the the video and the background so drop it double click on it and reduce the duration to at least 15 or 10 to give us that fast flash effects now this is what we have 
all right so far so good we're doing great so when we're done with that we can preview it and see what we have and if you're satisfied with what you're seeing congratulations you just made it so thank you for following through if you find this tutorial valuable don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends leave a comment below subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell for more awesome videos like this so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching this video and find it valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more awesome and unique videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. And don't forget to leave a comment below, I love it. Be sure to watch the videos on the screen that we handpicked for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.